Hello friends, we are looking at the art of Eloise Rainoff. She is an artist, illustrator, and designer. And she creates these beautiful, wonderful looking, cute little trees, which we are gonna focus on today. Now she is um, doing a process called printmaking. We will not do that, but we are going to um, use some papers that either we create, with some crayon, or we might use some construction paper, or if you have some decorative paper or even wrapping paper. So those are our choices for today. So you can select whatever you want. You might even do a combination of both construction paper and um, decorative paper. You will also need to find some cardboard pieces to use as a template to create some ovals. I use a cereal box. Here's how we begin. So we take our oval tracers that we've created, and I have three, but I am only going to be using two. Here I am tracing them. And um, what I'm gonna do is leave some space for some more tracers, some larger tracers. And um, you do not have to do as many as I'm doing. I'm creating a lot so that I have some in case I make a mistake. But um, you want to try and get a few for each paper, maybe two to three. So that way, if you do make a mistake, you do have something else to rely on. So I'm doing small and large or small and medium. It's your choice. And I'm just going through the different papers that I have. Okay, now what I wanna do is just take the tracings and I'm gonna cut them apart. Now first what I like to do is just kind of cut them um, either right around if I can get to them or I'll cut them into um, bigger pieces and then cut them a little bit smaller. So what I mean by that is just I cut them apart and I leave a lot of space around them. And then I go back and I will um, cut them a little bit closer. And that's what I'm gonna do to all of them. Okay, now that I have all of my ovals cut out, I'm going to use some markers, and they can be regular markers. I just happen to have some paint markers here. You can even use crayon. And I'm going to be making some lines to help me make them look a little bit more like trees. So what I do is I take a line down the center and I'm just going to draw some diagonal lines. Now, Eloise Rainoff used a printmaking technique to make her lines. And um, that's something that is a bit too messy for us and a little bit too messy for homeschool. So we're just gonna be using what we have as far as um, drawing our lines. 
All right, so this one is not too bad. I'm actually kind of liking this. So what I did was some diagonal lines, and then I put some letter Vs at the end of my lines to create a letter Y. And these are the branches of the tree. All right, let's take a look at another one. One more line or two. Now, you can also use white, so some will be black and some are going to be um, white, and you can decide um, how you do that. You can turn your oval to the side so that you don't always make them going vertical. You can alter your lines, make them a little bit different. You can make them closer together, farther apart, swirly. Whatever you choose is up to you. Okay, once we have um, decided on how we want to make our trees on our ovals, we're going to then find a piece of paper that we want to make for our ground. We're gonna go around our edges with a glue stick or whatever you have for gluing, a little in the middle, and glue it down to our background color. Now, color is up to you. It does not have to be yellow. You do wanna flip it over and give it a really good massage so that it stays on your paper. And then you're going to begin to add your ovals. Now, some will be way up front. We call this the foreground. Okay, so if it's in the front, it's in the foreground. And we're just going to create our composition. Now, composition is how we lay our items out to form our picture. So I overlap them, so I let them touch. Some will be behind other ones and some will be up in the front. So this one here is gonna be, I'm not sure where that one's gonna go, but um, we wanna put some in the background, some in the middle, and some up front, okay? And when you feel like you're satisfied with that, you're then going to glue them down. Okay, so just going around your edges again and a little in the middle and pop them down in there. Okay, now that my shapes, my ovals have been glued down, I'm going to make the tree trunk of my trees so that it looks as though they're, they're coming from the ground, they're resting on the ground. They might be behind another tree, so they would also need a stem or a tree trunk. And there you have it. There are our trees. Let me show you another one that I've made using different colored papers. Hope you enjoy this. <laughs> 